Okay, so today we're going to walk through a uh, creating a Kickstart profile via the Satellite Wizard. You can get to the Kickstart page via, via the Systems Kickstart tab or via Manage Kickstarts from the Overview page. Once you've gotten to the Kickstart Overview page, uh, to create a new Kickstart, we can click on the plus link here or under Kickstart Actions, create a new Kickstart profile. This will take us to a basic three-step process that will generate a base profile. First, we create a label for the uh, for the Kickstart. Uh, it has to be at least six characters. Uh, a base channel or a distribution that has to have a Kickstartable tree, which we'll change to Update 5. If you have an alternate location where these files are for the distribution are uh, available, you can change that. Otherwise, leave it for the default via satellite. And finally, change uh, select a root password for the installation. Once you've completed those three steps, the profile will uh, auto-generate and then show up as, uh, damn, wow, I can't type passwords. OK. That would edit in post. <laughs> Am I doing something sincerely wrong here? Okay, that's working. So once the Kickstarter profile is up, there are five basic tabs uh, that have various different operating uh, various different options. The Kickstart details are for Kickstart. Uh, housekeeping details and framework details uh, around operating system variables available in the Kickstart, advanced options such as first boot, and then if you have a bare metal Kickstart range. System details will give you uh, system related general options. Software allows you to install various package from the packages from the repo. The uh, activation keys will provide for uh, additional Channel selection, software installation, entitlements, etc. via activation key. Scripts for uh, cre creating uh, pre and post section actions. And then the Kickstart tab will show you the actual Kickstart file. For a basic Kickstart, uh, some of the good options to select for uh, on this first Kickstart details tab is logging custom pre actions and preserving the Kickstart config. Uh, these are good for uh, both troubleshooting new Kickstarts and also, uh, if you have compliance requ requirements or auditing requirements, these will create records that you can save uh, that will log all the actions that happen during Kickstart. Uh, it's important to note that there's an Update button at the bottom of every page that needs to be clicked in order to save any changes made on these pages. From the system details, we'll go ahead and change the SE Linux policy will also turn on configuration management and remote commands to allow the uh, satellite to push configuration files and run commands on the system once it's been kickstarted. You can also do things around changing locale, uh, partitioning if you have uh, any partitions that you need to uh, specially create. Uh, if there's files of if this run an upgrade, if you need to, to keep uh, certain files, or if you had custom keys. For software, you can administer those via the GPG and SSL tab. We're going to go ahead and add some software groups. These groups are available to us uh, only via the uh, the Kickstart tree. Uh, so anything that would be additional to uh, a secondary channel or any other repos will not be able to be installed during uh, during the Kickstart. Uh, we've added a few different system groups here uh, for graphical internet, desktop, and some various other things, as well as individual packages. You can also uh, generate these via package profiles if you have a saved profile from an alternate system. Scripts are uh, for uh, adding pre-actions or post-actions during Kickstart. Uh, in order to do that, go to the Quick Scripts tab, click the Add New Kickstart Script. You can leave it blank since we're just going to use this as a post script that will run in the shell. And since this is a brand new kickstarted system, we'll want to go ahead and make sure that this gets upgraded right off the bat. 
So we'll go ahead and put in a few yum upgrade uh, and profile sync actions. And this will run as a post script once the up kickstart has been completed. Once we click the update kickstart tab, we can actually check the kickstart file for all of the various actions that will be taken. And we can see that we've added our packages in the packages section and our actions are here from the post script and that all of these will indeed be logged. That's the way to create a basic kickstart profile via the wizard in satellite.